Hey, what's going on there, folks? It is Earthmaster here. Uh, September 9th, 2018. Uh, it's just about midnight my time here, so still uh, the 8th, but uh, we'll go ahead and call it the 9th here since it's just about midnight. A uh, little late update video, but I wanted to include some very important information in regards to a uh, potential situation that could unfold here around Thursday of this week and I'm talking about Hurricane Florence. Right now it's uh, kind of a minor storm. Uh, winds at about 69 miles per hour. Uh, so that puts, puts it at about a tropical storm status. Uh, I want to show you guys this map right here. Uh, pretty big deal for the folks that are living out there along the east coast. Uh, that includes states of uh, North Carolina and also South Carolina there. Now this is still a little early when it comes to uh, forecasting hurricanes. It's a little tricky, but all the weather models and all the forecasts are kind of getting their act together right now and shooting towards a landfall on the East Coast as a Category 4 hurricane at least uh, right around North Carolina, South Carolina region and uh, this could be a big deal. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple scenarios here in a little bit. But up here towards the north, let's see if you guys can see my pointer up here. Up here towards the north, you can't see it on here, uh, but there's a building high pressure ridge uh, blocking uh, the system, this tropical system from pretty much moving northward. So all the forecast models, all the tracks are leading this right towards North Carolina and the South Carolina border region right around 8 p.m. on Thursday. That's this week as a Category 4 hurricane. That's 130 miles per hour. Uh, the 156 mile per hour sustained winds. Um, like I say, right now it's just weak. It's a really small system, but it's got a little ways to travel and some warm water and nothing in its way uh, to prevent this thing from uh, doing what it what it wants to do but we're looking at a, a landfall 8 p.m. on Thursday uh, as a tropical or as a uh, well major hurricane category 4 uh, right now you can see the location of it kind of out there in the the Atlantic the high pressure building up here on this specific map you can see it right here high pressure uh, is a dominant feature up here in the northeast section of the country and part of the Atlantic up here as well. This is gonna this is gonna roughly move south just a tad bit to prevent further blocking from this hurricane right here uh, uh, to prevent it from heading to the north. And this this could be a very interesting scenario. One scenario right here from uh, this weather model right here called tropical uh, tropical tidbits. Let me show you this one right here is uh, very interesting because if this takes place these guys are going to be soaked with feet of rain. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here from Hurricane Florence. Put this thing into motion a little bit. You can see it just showing up off the screen right here a little bit. Gaining strength. You move this a little bit further down the line. You can see it right there at about north right around the North Carolina region this one here this weather specific weather model has it just a tad bit north compared to the other one I showed you but what happens here is that this thing gets stalled out um, over a period of a couple days right that thing is not moving let's bring it back here a couple hours and you guys can see how this thing moves along until, well, until it gets stuck right there. Now, this thing is just right off the coast here, uh, but they're still going to get massive amounts of rainfall in the North Carolina, South Carolina region, and it looks like parts of uh, Virginia up there as well, possibly the Norfolk area getting in uh, in some heavy-duty rainfall as well um, but this is just one specific GFS model here showing this thing getting stalled out 
possibly for 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 a day or two stuck there now this is like the worst case scenario if this thing comes through this is definitely going to be unprecedented uh, weather event for the east coast over here and we'll watch it here a little bit later on as it goes out to sea uh, after after it's doing its after it does its thing right there um, but yeah this is kind of scary if I didn't have to work I'd, I think I'd be flying over there to uh, uh, to record this thing this event that's gonna happen here if you do live on the north or on the east coast over there North Carolina South Carolina Virginia region right over there along the coast you guys if I were you, I'd be stocking up like it's, uh, like, uh, like there's no tomorrow. Lots of water, um, all the necessities. Maybe if you have a generator, uh, make sure you got plenty of gas over there. It's, uh, it's going to be a big deal. Like I say, right now it's pretty early, but I will be, uh, updating this thing as I get new information in. Uh, but this thing stalling out is going to dump a massive amount of rainfall. This here is a GFS total accumulated precipitation. Uh, let's put this thing into motion here. And I'll show you guys the hurricane as it comes up. You can see it tracking down here. This is, once again, accumulated total precipitation. And this, now this has it just right there. Let's go ahead and blast this thing all the way. This is just hitting parts of North Carolina and it looks like parts of Virginia with about over, well, 24 inches of rain uh, within that time period. Now that is a lot of rainfall, folks. And if this thing just happens to go inland a little bit more, uh, we're talking about even further uh, possible devastation in that region. So it's something to be on guard and very alert about Hurricane Florence uh, could wreck havoc in a uh, unprecedented way for parts of North Carolina and South Carolina and Virginia but like I say it's still early folks we need to see uh, how things work out you know computer models are starting to like say click together and they're showing this thing headed right towards that region there is a category 4 hurricane right around the North Carolina South Carolina region I will update as more information becomes available on this hurricane and um, just be on guard I mean make sure you guys have plenty of stuff over there plenty of everything <laughs> whether it's beer crackers top ramen anything because I have a feeling uh, this thing is going to do some interesting things over there uh, moving on towards the earthquake activity uh, around the globe a lot of activity occurring down in Southern California here I was gonna do an update video last night in regards to this uh, but I forgot actually I didn't forget I had my nephew here uh, but Naragunda Agunga I'm not pronouncing that correctly but it's this town right here right Aguanga I'm guessing. Anyway, they got a pretty good size swarm system going or swarm going on down there. We got days of, of small earthquakes occurring uh, within that region right there, off of the San Andreas fault system. Really not on any specific fault system, um, from what I can tell, at least on <clears throat> on this map. But it's down there, and there's a lot of activity occurring. Um, in the in the micro scale type earthquakes we're talking about under ones uh, but there is some movement quite a bit of activity uh, and that includes also today as well not as much activity today as we've seen over the past couple days there um, including yesterday and the day before but uh, definitely a lot of activity occurring down there nothing nothing big uh, but whenever we do see this type of swarming activity, it's always, uh, uh, you know, it could be a sign that it could be building up to something. Um, we'll just have to see what happens right now. 
latest earthquake map. A couple small red squares down there, but no big movement at the moment. A uh, little earthquake up here by the Bay Area, just right around the San Francisco area there. I believe that was a 2.8 right there, 2.8 near Oakland, California. Nevada had a little earthquake out here as well. A little 3.0 near Austin, Nevada. Oh, I've never heard of that town, Austin, Nevada. Checking out the earthquake 3D globe real quick here, folks. Looking at the uh, last 24 hours of earthquake activity around the globe. Um, well, showing a 4.1 out here. Latest earthquake right now, it looks like. Um, oops, let's go back here. Down here uh, near the Baja region. Some more deeper earthquake activity out there in Fiji as well, as you guys can see those uh, the rings out there being raised off the globe. Uh, looks like a 5.5 and a 4.6 as well. Uh, just goes along with the uh, continued activity along the Pacific Plate. Uh, some increased activity out here around the Mediterranean region there. With some higher magnitudes than what we've seen near Greece. 4.3 occurring at about 13 kilometers there below the surface. Of course, uh, Greece, this whole Mediterranean region and the these areas down here have seen some major large quakes in the past. I'm talking like mega quakes. Uh, but right now, it, it's uh, <laughs> aside from the little bit of activity they're, they're having, n you know, no major quakes right now. It's 4.3 occurring um, in that area of the world. So, anyway. Um, I'll go ahead and cut it off right now, folks, and get back to the live stream. I did want to uh, key up some interest in regards to uh, Hurricane Florence that is set to impact the East Coast. I don't see it going any other way aside from where it's headed. I mean, there's too many blocking systems to the north uh, to prevent it from going on a northward travel right now. Uh, and it definitely won't be going south. So, I mean, it, it is headed south a little bit, but uh, I don't see this thing taking any kind of loop or any kind of U-turn away from the U.S. mainland uh, right there around North Carolina and South Carolina area. So, um, like I say, I'll be looking at a couple weather models uh, tomorrow as well and see if anything changes. And I will be doing uh, update videos as the day gets closer on Thursday for uh, Hurricane Florence there on the East Coast. All right, folks, uh, have a good night. It's after midnight my time. I need a little bit of sleep. I did post up some nighttime shots tonight of the, uh, um, the sky here in California. Uh, no smoke right now. Uh, unedited photos on my Facebook page there. Just type in, uh, uh, well, you gotta go to Facebook and type in the search bar, the Earth Master. And you can see my page there and the photos that I just posted up on the on the Facebook page. So go check it out if you get a chance. In the meantime, have a good night, everyone. And uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.